Um, hey mums, so um, I have this, uh, this is a cool video, this is um, something that's quite new and I've uh, just came across some research and it's come up in a conversation um, last week with a mum and it's about the mum was having low milk supply and she was thinking of moving across to formula, worried if the baby was hungry um, and of course that's a worry for most mums, I think it's one of the top reasons to give up breastfeeding is that you worry about the baby not getting enough milk and things. Um, I've got like a little bit of a twist or a tip with this, which is really interesting, is that if you imagine a teaspoon of your breast milk contains billions, millions, billions of friendly, healthy gut bacteria. And remember, we're trying to do a lot with the baby's gut bacteria to get it back in balance from things that may have disrupted that. So we want to get that back in balance to help the colic, to help calm them, to help them sleep, to help them be happy and smile. So we're trying to balance that back up. Now, you all know that breast milk's got all of this super duper healthy stuff in it, um, but you just have to go to formula for, um, for whatever reasons that might be. But what if you are still able to even get that baby a teaspoon of your breast milk. I would, I would think of that as something really beneficial that you can still do. So if you're disappointed because you feel like you're not giving them enough to fill them up, so from the point of view of you're not filling them up, which is the macronutrients, like the big nutrients, the protein, the fats, the carbs, the, you know, the sugars and things, but what about all those tiny little goodies that are in there? The parts of the foods that you're eating that go through and that gut bacteria from you that you're passing to them, which is so beneficial. And these other tiny sugars that feed the gut bacteria. What if you could get a little bit of that into the baby to make a difference? Because the gut bacteria, so it's called the microbiome, we have that in our mouth and we have that in the esophagus and in the stomach and then it goes down. So if you're worried about how much they're getting, so you've switched to formula because you want to fill them up, helps them sleep better, helps them not cry so much and they're hungry. So, um, and you're doing that, um, obviously getting the advice of doctor, health, visitor, midwife. What if you can then express a little bit onto a teaspoon or whatever and just put that in the baby's mouth, the bacteria gets in the mouth, once it's in there, it multiplies, they then swallow it down, and then you're getting some natural stuff in there. So um, think of that as something um, beneficial that you could do if you can just put a little bit, and that has to be um, better than nothing. Um, if you can't do that, no worries, go on to the formula and check out the probiotic videos and things of mine, but, but consider that. Consider that even the smallest bit of your breast milk will contain billions of goodies in from from bacteria or these helpful um, bacteria so um i hope this helps hope you find this interesting um check out my online colic solution at calmingcolic.com all the videos are in there to help you and your baby thanks